Hello and welcome back to Shady Business. This is the Specs by Ryan podcast. I am Ryan Horn of Specs by Ryan. And today our very special guest is Jen Muscoby from Rebellion Brewing. How are you? I'm really well. Yeah, Good. Good. thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for coming. Of course. So, why are you here? We have a very special thing to talk about today. We do, we do. I'm, I'm here to promote the collaboration we're doing together. Mm-hmm. Uh, Weird Flex, Specs by Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, or sorry, Specs by Rebellion, I guess we're calling it, aren't Weird we? Weird Flex by Rebellion and Specs. There I we go. That's how okay. it goes, right? <laughs> yes, and, and that, that name came from actually from Matt, uh, our mm-hmm. communications um, and marketing director, who taught me what the weird flex meant. I, I didn't even know the meme, so. Let's explain it for people. What does it mean? Um, so I think it was uh, somebody on a, on a television show, just um, they had said a really bad joke and the guy was like, weird flex, but okay. And <laughs> and it was, you know, it was a sense of ego, but the guy was just like, okay, well, that was a weird flex. I, I can't quite <laughs> put my finger on what the, what the joke was, but right. it made sense. And then it rhymed and I was like, yeah, let's do that because it kind of is a weird flex where we're doing something completely unique to the city right um and when you approached me on it i i loved the idea because i immediately thought of major urban centers that'll do those uh underground pop-ups you know where yes. back alley entrance and mm-hmm. buy your ticket early and, and then you go to this big elaborate show and it's only 15 minutes but it blows your mind and then and that's it um right. and so i thought you know well of course we're not gonna be that extravagant but mm-hmm. let's do something low budget key fun mm-hmm. and just have a have a good time yeah express ourselves absolutely yeah i right. met you at sas fashion week right and um yeah. your shows are so much fun that the <laughs> minute you contacted me i said yes we're gonna do this for yeah sure. well that's good I, I like to challenge people and i'm always trying to find ways to collaborate with other really cool like-minded businesses um to do cool shit like yeah. it's 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 one of those things where you could be in the tap room all day you know managing and, and overseeing sales and people having fun i could be selling glasses all day which is fine mm-hmm. but when you have these other little projects mm-hmm. it's just work is just so much more fun you know it definitely is mm-hmm. um i basically live in the tap room so when i get mm-hmm. to you know be the events coordinator and you know, stepping outside the tap room or doing something new to the tap room. Yeah, that's that's always the fun part. Mm-hmm. Um, expanding our horizons, I guess, essentially. Yeah. And I mean, even looking at in the past, like watching your shows, I knew that Rebellion and Specs would mm-hmm. fit very yeah. well together. So yeah, yeah, we both like to challenge people. Yeah, uh, and we both like, like rock and roll. Like rock and roll. Yeah. the somewhat rebellious kind of vibe going on and against the norm yeah yeah totally. yeah like let's shake up our industries right like uh-huh. that's that's exactly what uh, what it's about so yeah i thought geez how do we how do we work together on something how do we do something you know fun and i didn't know what when i came to meet you mm-hmm. and all of a sudden uh I, I think you you brought up the fashion show idea and, and we just rolled with it yeah. yeah it was a half an hour of just blah 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 blah, blah. and all of a sudden it was like yeah mm-hmm. we're gonna do this and I have a killer staff, um, mm-hmm. one of which, you know, has helped uh, produce SAS Fashion Week for, for years. So she, mm-hmm. Taylor, uh, Hudima, she, she, I, it was a question and she didn't even hesitate. <laughs> She's like, yes, I will be your right hand woman. <laughs> and I've really been leaning on her a lot yeah. uh, for She's the organization. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's been good. Yeah. Oh. Um, so it was just, yeah. And well, and it came down to the fact that, uh, we had just designed, uh, six pieces for our Mm -hmm. winter collection. So it was like, well, yeah, it would be silly not to show that off five year anniversary. You know, you're having your fifth year. We had our fifth year. Um, so. And, and you've got such great gear that seems to really, uh, resonate with people and they keep wanting you know the newest and latest and and they love repping your gear so you know it's a a little bit of a a non-traditional fashion show where uh we will be showing off you know you know uh rebellion gear as opposed to anything that's really you know high fashion or anything but it's just stuff that yeah that that's rebellion we're showing off bella and canna Mm -hmm. that is the designer i go with with a lot of the t-shirts because they're they're 
well done yeah and then they're printed and that's it that's that's as simple mm-hmm. as it gets but that's you know there, there's a market for that absolutely and uh the fact that we're you know putting all these uh rocking shirts on with a good pair of glasses and the models are going to be holding beer um, yeah. i have one of the models they're not even models they're our buds yeah absolutely and, and they're yeah. just going to be walking around i told uh, one of them i said you know i think it'd be great if you were holding a growler and a half glass of beer and like you're walking the runway and then just pour yourself a damn beer and just start drinking it as yeah. you're walking and he's like yeah it's a great idea and we have these variety packs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark does a lot of the designing, the CEO of Rebellion, and he has this keen eye and this love for retro stuff. Right. And so our variety packs look like um, it's very retro-y, very fun. And I was like, yeah, why don't you like put that on your shoulder as if you're like carrying a speaker to or the beach? A yeah. ghetto blaster. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And so, you know, you just... You put it all together, and then it just comes alive. Mm-hmm. And one idea flows into another, yes. flows into another. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's so good. Yeah. So, uh, you know, why not throw a fashion show? Twenty bucks. That's nothing. Mm-hmm. Limited seats, of course. We're not a tiny, or sorry, we're not a, a large facility. But, mm-hmm. and then of course the the. Uh, the best idea I think that I came up with for this, not to toot a horn, but mm-hmm. was the fact that we're now donating some of the ticket sales to charity, which yeah. I'm huge on when it comes to rebellion and collaborating Absolutely. and making sure that the little guy and actually one of their directors is going to be modeling for us. Yeah. So, so who are we benefiting? Uh, street culture kids mm-hmm. or street culture project here mm-hmm. in Regina. So they work a lot with the inner city kids. Um, they've got houses galore all over the city, um, and a lot of programs and, um, therapy and the, and we work a lot with their art department. Right. Um, they've done a lot with us for mm-hmm. us, a lot of chalk art patios, and, uh, they're just great people to work with. I'm really thrilled about that to yeah. help, you know it just the money goes straight to um helping local kids exactly. yeah that's so good yeah. that's so good yeah so it's going to be a, a 20 dollar uh, a ticket uh we can get them at uh specs or rebellion mm-hmm. and for the 20 bucks you get a beer with that right mm-hmm. yeah a so, rebellion beer yeah, yeah. A rebellion beer mm-hmm. absolutely yeah. um and so it it, it we can have perhaps uh 80 people right is that the idea yeah 80 is going to be tight but yeah. i mean whatever it's fine it's a party but it's so basically party. it's it's high demand low supply so yes. yeah like it, since we've been kind of starting the uh, uh promotion of this it's been going really well so we want to make sure everyone gets their tickets who really wants to come yeah there's a and, buzz uh, yeah it's happening yeah. yeah so fashion and beer hey this will be pretty cool yeah, you. I, I recall um, one of our friends, mutual friends, Ellie, over at mm-hmm. Midnight Oil Tattoo. We were mm-hmm. at her grand right opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, yes. That's Ellie's work. Mm-hmm. Definitely. She does such amazing watercolor work. Love it. Uh, actually, my chess piece, that's one of the first pieces she ever did. She doesn't oh, wow. like me showing it off. <laughs> she wants to redo it, of course. Yeah, this 11-year-old tattoo, but yeah. no, we love her. Mm-hmm. So we were there, and you had said... How do we promote glasses and beer? Mm-hmm. And so here we are today, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. So cheers to that. Cheers actually. to that. Uh, we're going to be drinking uh, Rebellion Amber yeah. today. It's on tap upstairs at the Chill Lounge uh, studio. I love it. So cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a phenomenal go-to beer. Very yeah. West Coast style, red, amber, mm. caramely, a little mm. bit of a hop finish. I enjoy it. Mm. There goes the beer nerd in me. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, also, looks like we've also found you some specs. Yes. This is a big moment for you. This is a big moment for me. Take a look at this, everyone, up top here. Okay, so these. Tell us a story. (laughs) Um, Ever since I was a little girl, um, I can't see close up. Um, And before they had uh, transitional lenses, Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my mom called me Bugsy. I I had these massive eyes and these buck teeth and I was, I love my mom, but, uh, (laughs) you know, and so I was always kind of self-conscious about like big eyes and, you know, plus, you know, back in the day of Bugs Bunny and stuff like that. I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, we all laughed at that. So I've always had these rectangle close to the face so that I wasn't 
you know, extreming any more of, of my already large forehead. And I, I was very self-conscious about sure. that. Yeah, as many people are. So yeah. I'm talking to Ryan about this and, and, and he's like, well, no, like, let's find you something. And actually Edie at uh, SAS Fashion last year, yeah. she, she found a bunch of uh, right. glasses for me and yeah. I hemmed and hawed and it's breaking change, right? It's, it's, right. it's huge. Um, Mm -hmm. so then I came here and, and Edie was great about it. She put me in these blue, baby blue wrap handmade in Canada Mm -hmm. glasses and I fell in love and the rest is history. And then I love the fact that you're like, oh, by the way, Jen, your style is coming back in like in the summer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You wait long enough. 1990. Starting to see the little ones come back again a little bit. Not going to take over, but I think they're going to, you know, you know, we're going to see a little bit more of them again. But but let's have a look at these. on. Sure. These are beautiful. I mean, they're titanium. It says Mm -hmm. made in Canada on them. Like not very often that you get to see that. So So Shiloh Wrap in Toronto makes them in the back of his shop between four and 12 a day. Uh, we don't know when we'll get them, mm-hmm. you know, but, uh, you know, I typically order when I'm in New York or Vegas and then, you know, months and months later, all of a sudden, oh, your, your order is ready. I almost forgot about them and it's just like Christmas, you know, yeah. so, um, but these are, I'm very impressed that, that you opened up to something really so different. Uh, they're still extremely wearable, but a lot of times when somebody's had the same look for so long, mm-hmm. it is really hard for them to see um, themselves look so different uh, in the mirror. And it, it, it takes a lot of warming up. You you got onto these like instantly, which I'm very impressed with. Good job. Thank you. Um, I've always uh, lived by that motto, go hard or go home. And <laughs> uh, um, I do that with my hair a lot too. You know, I'll just all of a sudden boom, shave my head and then yep. it's like, okay, I'm dealing with this until I figure out something yep. else. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how I live my life in general. Mm-hmm. Um, not necessarily how I run the tap room. <laughs> but uh, yeah. sorry, I'm going to have to switch these again. Yeah, absolutely. My we don't have your prescription yet, yeah. but that's a sneak peek on yeah. what to expect, uh, what to see Jen in uh, yeah. very shortly. And uh, I'm very proud of this uh, this for you and very proud of you for choosing uh, something really cool. And I, and I, I have to warn you, they will be a lot of work. When you are at work or out in the public, there will be many a tap on the shoulder. Uh, I like your I like your glasses. Where did you get them? Then you're gonna have to tell them it's the specs. You know, see Ryan, go see Edie, go. You know, yeah. And yeah, so but I'm not gonna to sound it. like that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh my god, have you not heard of specs? This is amazing. Well, if it happens a lot, you might get to the point where <laughs> you know, there's specs. Go, <laughs> just go, go here. Like, um, but yeah, we like to warn you that they will be a lot of work. And um, but they're worth it. Yeah, well, I get that a lot with Rebellion Gear too. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, speaking of Rebellion Gear, oh. you were talking about oh. um, the fan favorites and mm-hmm. um, some like I was just Mark sends us once in a while to a to a job coach, or a leadership coach, okay, um, which is a great perk to the job. Um, she's absolutely wonderful. But one of the one of the things she had said to me that has resonated since is that. Um, she said, Jen, I don't think you understand how many people are actually watching you mm. and listening to you and the things that you're doing. Mm. She said, I don't take myself seriously enough. And that's fair. But um, I, I think back to that on on, on the, the uh, clothing, the clothing wear that we do and uh, the silliness, the ideas that we come up with and we just roll with it. We were at this honest conference where it said, like, dare to, to just fail. You know, mm-hmm. just try it. And if you fail, it's okay. Figure it out. And one thing with the with our merch is that <clears throat> nothing's failed. Um, the experience Regina shirt, and this is where I'm going with it, is I was just at a chiropractor um, appointment half an hour ago. And my chiropractor said, you know, that day I was in, Jen, and I felt so let down because you were sold out of the experience Regina shirt in, mm-hmm. in my size. And I, I said, oh, I know, I felt so bad, Ben. i sorry that we couldn't help you out. They're all sold out. And we had done three or four orders of them at like a lot, like a lot right. of shirts. Uh, and then I said to him, well, don't worry. I, I think we're going to bring them back. And he's <laughs> like, so at the end of my yeah. session, he said, Jen, you really made my day that, that you're going to bring these shirts back. It's like the simplest thing, mm-hmm. a shirt <laughs> to make a person's day. So even glasses, right? makes a person's day well it again it just spreads the brand uh beyond the tap room Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. and you've got great branding great you know uh, style in in all of your clothing Mm -hmm. and and i'm really excited to have that showcased 
in in a runway kind of format you know yeah. and uh, i think that'll be a lot of fun um yeah we did the yeah. model fitting on sunday and we had a lot of fun with it because once you see it on them and then adapt to their personality yeah that's those are things I don't really take into consideration, but I think this is also going to help me with the rebellion team to design next year's stuff. Future stuff, yes. Once we see how different people and their looks and their body types are wearing it, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think this is going to be good for everybody. And mm-hmm. you know, talk about collaboration between the two of us doing this. Yes. Well, some of the designs that are on those shirts were designed by other people brianna coffin of uh, deadly designs uh-huh. she did the anniversary t-shirt ah, cool. mm-hmm. um and then there's adrian uh adrian ray and brennan garrick of golden spider tattoos mm-hmm. they 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 designed some of that stuff as well and so yeah i think i think that that's a a great way to just showcase regina it's mm-hmm. about time we put ourselves on the map as pretty wicked people absolutely yeah i'm so tired of people making fun of our little city because there's a lot of awesome people here doing yeah. phenomenal things so there certainly are i mean yeah. it's um i mean i came here in 1993 and you know the 90s were a time where everyone just wanted to get the hell out mm-hmm. and I, I always say that you know a lot of people actually either by choice or not stuck around mm-hmm. started creating some cool businesses cool ideas cool things and other people even started to come back and you know it, it's it's really uh really changed a lot like a lot a ton a ton and and the the amount of entrepreneurs out there now that are just getting excited mm-hmm. um and we're in a recession and people are still pushing through they yeah. don't care just do it you know P- put your heart on your sleeve and and push through every so often there's a recession it just seems yeah like okay here we go again but you know life goes on yeah right yeah, uh, I think I made the reference of uh, beers like toilet paper to somebody. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it'll never go away and people will always <laughs> drink it. So <laughs> it's not something that dies and people will always need glasses. And, yeah. you know, you just got to find that right niche that you're into and, and go with it. And, and with Rebellion, I mean, um, the events, I do event coordinating as well. And I work on social media with Mark and, and mm-hmm. Matt and there's always something to do or, or yes. somebody coming up with an idea or somebody wanting to work with you or a recipe for a new beer or we're designing a new label or it's great. I'm fascinated by the team you have there uh, overall, like with yeah. running the organization from all the different angles yeah, and how, um, you know, you, you all, from my perspective, work so well together. I know behind the scenes is probably, you know, disagreements, arguments, blah, blah, blah. But... Um, how you guys are all just such on the same page and, and you guys can, can move forward so well together. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. cause it's not easy. Like when you, you have all these different personalities and they're strong know, and they're strong. Yeah. Um, but yet you all believe in the, the one common goal and, mm-hmm. uh, and it just shows, it just show like there's just no other brewery I've seen anywhere do what you guys do. Yeah, I, I agree. Mark has he I, he thought long and hard on the on the team that he's put together mm-hmm. and um you know we we do a lot of um, emotional intelligence uh aptitude tests and stuff like that to kind of mm-hmm. look at our spectrums and see where we are and see what we need to work on what we're good with um and we're always four to five months ahead of ourselves so mm-hmm. right now i mean i'm planning the i'm the event coordinator for the Saskatchewan Craft Brewers Association Beer Festival, mm-hmm. the first one we're throwing in Regina for February. Like that's mm-hmm. where my brain is right now, is in it's February eighth. I've I'm Christmas is done. Like yeah. pull through that uh, January. The doldrums of February. Wow, yeah. you're you're doing pretty good. <laughs> and, and then from there, as soon as that's yeah. done, I'm into April for the Cask Fest. And oh yeah, I'm always four months ahead. Hmm. Always, Mark was already sending emails for hey, check out these new designs for the summer beer for the spring beer we're doing, and mm-hmm. we need a name. And oh yeah, you're always you can't be two weeks ahead and i and like i just looked at my calendar today and i'm like that fashion show is in two two weeks yes okay we got this i know <laughs> it's creeping up it's creeping up hence but hey we got the lighting yeah. got the dj got the artists we did the fitting we have a smoke machine okay yeah yes, and i just gotta buy yes. candy candy uh, okay. that's it. Yeah. yeah that's it yeah <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun it um, is gonna be fun so hopefully people can remember that uh you know to get tickets fairly soon uh don't don't be disappointed uh 20 bucks you know Seriously. 20 bucks and it's gonna be a nice 
uh, tight little uh, environment. Uh, all the all the really really good looking people, uh, and yeah, exactly <laughs> the friends and friends and family you might know already so yeah um you know and then also some cool specs on these people and then we're also going to have a little bit of an opening act who's uh, who's coming out for that we do yeah so taylor hudima like i mentioned before that works at rebellion um mm-hmm. she's got her own little side project called jack and gin uh and then her buddy is also coming with the mangled supply so two streetwares mm-hmm. yeah. um very relaxed um yeah streetwear so pretty much alongside i think they're a little bit more um hipster right than we are but it fits it's streetwear yeah. it's it's fun and again specs will be will be on them mm-hmm. and uh yeah so those two are they're collaborating so their their show the mm-hmm. models will go on twice for them two changes for them then we'll have a little intermission right and we'll talk about you and talk about rebellion and mm-hmm. then rebellion will have our show so my idea with that was to uh open with our winter wear sure. so it'll be all the hoodies and the long sleeves and mm-hmm. the toques and then the next uh set will be the summer wear which is the tank tops and the the ball caps and the trucker going hats. in the right direction yeah Good exactly yeah. everyone likes summer yeah absolutely but yeah winter's uh winter's a crazy time here in saskatchewan and I, I think that's why we have so many creative people here like, what the hell else are you going to do for six months out of a year, right. seven months out of a year? Yep. You're in your hovel and mm-hmm. you're creating. And if yep. you're not creating, you're reading or you're... We have so many intelligent, brilliant, creative people here. Music, fashion. It's mind-blowing, really. Yeah. 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 And they're all quite introverted and humble. Right. So it's a big thing here. Right. Yeah. And I think, you know, we have enough people that, again, I always say this, that people travel, they go to different places, but yet this is home. Mm-hmm. But they get they get inspired and they get other ideas from from going places and doing things and meeting people that uh it just you know this is such a great place to just uh to create uh, you know yeah. and, and i just think it's amazing and how again how regina has grown and, and uh has come a long way on yeah. the international scene 100 percent uh smallest things like uh, again before i came here i contacted a girlfriend she had a little market the wren on the weekend i had i had to miss it personally called her is there any way that i could look at your earrings and so we met at a coffee shop and she brought me all of her stuff so that i could do some of my christmas shopping literally she brought the store to me so yeah we've got so many people like that here Mm -hmm. it's it's brilliant Mm -hmm. i love it yeah me too cheers to regina cheers to regina let's have another one of those boom any reason absolutely (laughs) well jen thank you very much for coming on and uh talking about uh weird flex by rebellion and specs Friday the 13th yeah. of December. Uh, this just seems so so right, it's doesn't it? perfect. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully the first of, of many, perhaps. Why we'll not? see how it goes. And why uh, not? I think why not? Exactly. And uh, so, again, tickets are at uh, Rebellion or Specs, 20 bucks each. Get them uh, soon because uh, we don't want you to miss out. So we're going to have a great time and uh, let's rock on. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, Ryan. I appreciate it's always a pleasure. it. I can't wait. Well, I'll be back tomorrow for my new glasses, uh, my new specs. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>